In this recording, I'm going to share with you how you can build a drip campaign and to be able to send one. So if you haven't if you haven't seen the video on how to create and save a template, make sure that you watch that one first because you need to create the templates first and then you can build out a drip campaign, which is a sequence of cards. So maybe a card goes out right away. Another card goes out 30 days from now. Another card goes out five days before their birthday. And then maybe another card goes out five days uh, before their anniversary of doing business with you. You can create all of that kind of cool stuff. So for the purpose of this one, I'm going to show you is uh, maybe a real estate one that wants to market to a for sale by owner. And as I go through this, I'll give you other examples of how you can use this as well. So the first thing you want to do is go into drip campaigns and create a new drip. And so in here, maybe I want to put a Fizbo five card drip. So I create this and then this is going to be card number one. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the template name. So this is card number one, Fizbo drip, and I'm going to have it go out immediately. So zero days after the campaign is sent. So that means that it's going to be instantly that card's going to go out and down here, if I put four, this means I'm going to get a text message reminder four days after this card is sent. Now, if you're on the West Coast, do five days. If you're going, if you're on the East Coast, you can do anywhere from three, four days um, because it comes out of the East Coast. And that way you'll get a text message reminder if you want to do a phone call or a text message follow up to them. This is a nice little reminder system. So I'm going to hit save drip. Now I'm going to create another drip and click number two. I'm going to pick the second card. Now be, this card, I want to have it go out four days after uh, the campaign is sent. Now understand, let's say, let's just say this is a different type of a campaign and maybe you just have a new customer that just purchased a product from you or a service and you wanted the first card to be a thank you for your business. And then the second card, you wanted to go out 30 days later, hope you're enjoying your your new uh, basement system or whatever it may be. And then number, um, let's say then you also want 90 days after or five days before their birthday because you have their birthday. Now what you can do is you can say, I want to have it to go out five days before a specific date. So you can pick an anniversary birthday campaign or specific date. So if I click birthday and I want it to go out five days before their birthday, they don't have a birthday and it's not going to be sent obviously um, now if you want days after you can also let's do days before their anniversary so anniversary of doing business or a wedding anniversary or the anniversary of closing of their home if you're a real estate agent or a mortgage broker you can do it like that you can do a specific date so if you want a specific date say okay i want this card to go out because uh, say, say Thanksgiving of next year is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, it's going to be November 25th. So happy Thanksgiving. I want it to go out the week before. So let's send it on the 15th or say let's send it on the 16th. So now you can have this card go out on a specific date. For the purpose of this one that we're doing, we're not going to do specific date. We're going to send this four days after the campaign is sent. Does that make sense? Okay, you have the return address that you can pick here. I'm not gonna put a reminder. And then the next drip, I'm gonna go ahead and put drip number three. I'm gonna pick the template. And I want this one to go out, let's say 12 days after the campaign is sent. So this is really neat how you can build out your campaign and you can kind of customize it however you want. We love that, absolutely love this feature. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to understand is that if you build out this campaign, this is five cards and let's say it's two bucks a card, then you want to make sure that you have the funds in your account because you're going to pay for it up front. We lock in that pricing for you and it's guaranteed that the cards are going to go out. So we've had it in the past where credit cards would expire, um, the cards wouldn't go out, customers got frustrated. So we say, you know, pay for them right now, build out the drip, pay for it now, and then everything's all set it. It's done, it's paid for, and all of these cards are going to go out. So I'm going to do this one. The last one was 12. I'm going to do this one 18 days after the campaign is sent. And then I'm going to do the last one, which I'm going to do card number five. And I'm going to show you something else here in just a minute. So bear with me. I'm going to do this 25 days after the campaign is sent. 
and that's a, just a value add build. So this is a campaign. Now, if you want to send the campaign, you just quickly send the campaign to the contact. You can add the contact into your system right here. Just add a contact, and the and then you can send the campaign to them simply by going into Drip Campaigns. You can click on this one, and it says Send Drip Campaign, and you can send it. You can check the box, the name, hit Continue, and then that card would automatically be sent. Okay, the campaign, all five of them would be triggered to go. Let's just do this, and I'll show you how this works. So if I hit Continue, and it's going to say $10 for all five cards. I hit Send Campaign. Now it's done. All right, they're, they're already scheduled. Now if I go into the history, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five. All these cards are in succession. Now I can go in and edit this, or I can cancel at any time. If I want to cancel this drip, I just hit Cancel, and then the credits go back into your account. So it's as simple as that. I'm going to cancel these because I'm not going to have this go out to them. There we go. Cancel one more, and we're done. All right. So now let's go back. I want to show you something really cool right now. This is what's called an automagic drip campaign. So let's call it. Let's call this group um, new Fizbo's. Let's, let's call it five Fiz, five Fizbo five card drip. Fizbo five card drip. So I create a save a group here. Okay. Now. Here's a group, there's no contacts in it. What I wanna do now is go to group settings and we can attach that campaign to this group. What that means is when you add a contact to the group, it's automatically triggered to go out. So you can do a single card or you can do a campaign. So because I'm inside the group, I'm gonna go back and I just wanted to make sure that you understand this. I created a group called Fizbo Five Card Drip I open up this specific group and go to group settings. Inside the group settings, I'm going to go to new automagic campaign. And I'm going to need to find this. So here it is, drip campaign, Fizbo five card drip. Boom. And I'm going to title this. I'm going to title card five card. All right, there's the address the return address that's going to be um, on the envelopes. I'm going to hit save. Now watch how cool this is. So I just added this campaign. So now if I go to add a contact, watch this. I'm going to add a contact and I'll put myself in here. Okay, I put the address in there. Now let's go with the birthday. So if I put a birthday in here and there's a birthday that's in there, if there's a birthday that's attached to contact, then the birthday card will go out. If there's an anniversary, anniversary will go out. Now I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna check this box that says FISBO five card drip. And see how it says automagic? That means when you add a contact to here, it's automatically gonna send out. <laughs> so you can upload a list to this group and it will automatically send this campaign. So if I click on save, boom, now watch this. I go back to the history and there's the cards gonna be on their way. They're gonna be sent out. The first card's gonna go out December 5th. The second card's gonna go out December 9th. The third card's gonna go out December 17th, December 23rd, and December 30th. How awesome is that? So cool, right? And so I'll delete those later. So that's how you do an automagic card or an automagic campaign, you attach it to the group. By going into group, you create a group if you want to do it, like, like I just shared with you how to do, and then you go to group settings and you attach a card or a campaign to the group, and then it's done. It just makes it a lot easier and quicker, and you can do it from your phone as well really quickly. Just add a contact and then check the box. When you add a contact, you just want to make sure that once you put the contact in, you check that box hit save, now they're automatically added to that group and it triggers the campaign and the cards to go out. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, of course, reach out to us. Build out some fun campaigns and we'll, um, we enjoy your, we, we really appreciate your business and thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm sure this is going to help you out a lot.